Hi everyone. It is September 1st, 2015. Uh, long time no see. Um, stay tuned for the update on that. But anyway, I'm down here in the garden near the greenhouse that I put up a few years ago. And there is a uh, new project going on. Let me show you. Well, <clears throat> if you'd ask me, that looks like the start of another greenhouse. Now, if you all remember, I got my 12 foot by 80 foot greenhouse here, which did serve me well this summer, except it's only seven feet high, around seven, seven foot two, seven foot three to the middle. So my tomatoes and my cucumbers, they've been uh, touching the roof for about a month now. <clears throat> so, and also, because it's so long it's hard to it's hard to ventilate it with with crops growing up in the middle i have fans every so many feet um like every 15 foot box fans which aren't the best solution but they were on sale when i put those in and they did well early on in the year but when the whole section this whole section in the middle raised bed is just completely filled with plants there's no air that's blowing so it gets very hot in there which makes it uh, quite unbearable to be in there during the day. So, my thought is for next year, <coughs> I'll recap how the market's been going in a later video. But the market's been going well. In the springtime, I had lots of lettuce, mustard greens, kale greens in here. The problem is because the tomatoes and everything else started growing a lot faster um, once they got heat heated, like once it was hot in there in June and July, all the lettuce bolted. So the goal for this greenhouse next year is to ventilate it with side vents, just simple side vents. Um, I'll be putting more in, eventually doing roll-up curtains, possibly just on the end 20 feet, because that's the direction where the, the wind blows in that way. But enough of, of that, you've seen that before, you've seen the videos that I made on construction of that. There's nothing different, the inside's a little bit different, but the structure of the self is the same. So anyway, <clears throat> fast forward here. If you remember from previous videos, there was just, just crap here. Weeds, and I had onions here a couple years ago, and weed barrier, and just I stored my mowers and some of my, my outdoor equipment here and what have you. But I decided that I was going to put up another greenhouse. And the reason being is because, as I said earlier, the big greenhouse, I want to use that for my low crops and try to grow longer into the season um, lettuces in, in, in your uh, your leafy greens so I need a place to plant cucumbers tomatoes who knows maybe some pole beans early pole beans maybe even a section of melons because it takes it, it's so hard to grow them up here but anyway again 12 foot wide and this is only 40 feet long now I'm really kind of not beefing it up but doing to this one what I almost should have did to this one I know I said in the original video when I made this one near those years ago, a couple years ago, I said I don't want it any higher than seven foot because I can't reach any higher. Which that's a good reason to keep it under seven feet so you can reach the top, the top, you know, the the top rail, the purlin. However, it limits what you can grow. So the idea with this one is this is a progress so far. It's 12 by 40 feet, so it's exactly half the size of that one. Um, 12 by 40 um, feet gives you still plenty of space and the way i'm designing this one <coughs> as we can look right here the hoops come straight down against the baseboard six inches up off the ground fast forward over to this one it's a lot higher this is actually around 40 inches 36 38 40 roughly around that um let's call it three foot so that'll give me three foot higher space in the middle so if this one's seven foot a little bit more than seven foot this one will be around 10 foot which gives you plenty of vertical space to grow tomatoes to grow cucumbers pole beans anything that'll grow 10 feet in a season now the way w while i'm doing this i decided to put up <clears throat> side curtains i wasn't going to do it yesterday because i have my my wood i got delivered the other day was for a certain design but i figured you know what Instead of trying to add these side curtains later on when the plastic's already up, when there's beds in here, when there's, you know, snow on the ground or plants even in here next spring, I'm going to spend the extra money and I'm going to do it now. And doing it now, not only that way it's done and I don't have to worry about the cost or the work, 
is also easier. <laughs> Without having anything here to, to get in my way when I walk, so easy to put the baseboards in and the top. Now, mind you, I said it's easy. However, I'll show you the demonstration here. So basically, these are steel pipes, inch and a quarter, or excuse me, inch and a half outside diameter. So basically, you have to tap this and then drill a hole through it and then drill a hole through your wood, attach it with your lag bolt, nuts are not on this end, washer on this side, it's just a round cap and a washer. And the reason why I use round caps, I call them round caps, the round tops instead of a hex bolt is because it's nice and smooth. So when the plastic meets this, which is where the side curtain will then be below it, it's nice and smooth. When I put my, my uh, one by three stripping to hold the plastic on, I won't have any issues with anything sticking out because this is quite flush to that. So basically, it, it takes quite a while to do this. I mean, again, I'm doing it all myself in the way I have to, uh, you can't just take a big drill bit and, and drill through there. If you have a drill press and some and some clamps, then you could, but I, I couldn't do it that way. I'd use self-tapping screws to get a small hole started, then you move up to a large one, and then a larger drill bit, and then through it. But all, all in all, uh, once I got the hang of it, I remembered that's how I did it over here to the other one, but I couldn't figure out that in the beginning. But after a couple a couple rungs in, I I, I uh, figured it out. So anyway, there will be side curtains here. <clears throat> there will be side curtains here. Now you may say, <coughs> well, you're doing kind of things, you're doing this whole side, and then you're going to do like how are you going to do it? Well, the mistake I did with I made this one is I put the hoops up and I built the structure without putting any beds in. So all the dirt, all the lumber that I had for the raised beds in here, I had to haul in either by hand or with a wheelbarrow. And now starting at one end, going halfway through the middle up to 40 feet, and I have a door on the other end, of course, it, it got very tiring and very old. So this one, the way I'm going to do it, <clears throat> is I'm basically going to complete everything that I can from this side, and then move on to this side. So right now, the side, the baseboards are up, the side curtains are up, the two end wall baseboards, this one, and the one here, this is going to be, this is actually facing facing west so the stunt the sun kind of goes like this straight across um there won't be a door at this end the door will just be on this side so anyway so i'm going to do that then the next step is to put in this raised bed and then i can let me put the lumber in and then i can use my tractor in my bucket to scoop my compost and to scoop my dirt which i have down in there and do a bit of a mix and then just dump it in and then just then just rake it out instead of hauling it in with wheelbarrows that's such a waste of time and energy this way i can do it real easy with that pack them real full and not have to worry about it and then once that one's completed then i'll move to the center one and then and then then here this is where i'd put in the the the, the south side they're facing south the south side posts and repeat this process over here put the end put the uh the side curtain you know baseboards up side curtain and then with the bucket still put the raised bed in here take the bucket right on top and just dump it straight in so as much labor i can save both the wheelbarrow i'm going to i'm going to do that and then once all that's done then the hoops will go up uh, i guess kind of in between <coughs> the last two steps i said is the end walls will be completed before um this stuff goes in i have the hoops or i have my bender up at the house and i have my pipe for that i just have to uh make a jig up and bend the pipe just like i did with this one and that way i'll bend some for this one and i'll bend some for this one and once this one is in which this is the goal hopefully for tomorrow bend just the end hoop and maybe even probably just the one possibly this one we'll see but the end here is going to be solid wall with uh with chipboard like plywood and then there'll be four big windows just cut with hinges that i can just open right up they'll be screening behind it to keep the birds and stuff out that way it can get maximum venting straight because i said the wind comes straight across this way right across this little hump on the other side of this paddock and these trees is a big lake so the wind comes right up this way usually or it comes across this way but more likely it comes from the southwest but overall I'm going to have, this is going to be my propagation station. Now I am losing a lot of space by doing it, but I'm going to be putting in four foot benches all the way across, or four by 12. I'll have an area, everything will be off the ground. It'll be, you know, 30 inches, 36 inches, whatever, you know, the countertop height would be for com to make it comfortable. And then in this section over here, raised up, I'll have an area framed in where I can put in, put my potting soil. And then underneath, I actually found some cabinets for free on the side of the road, put a couple cabinets down there to keep my fertilizer and my tools in. And then on the bottom here, I'll probably build another set of shelves 
to keep all my trays, all my pots, and keep everything out of this greenhouse. Right now at the end, there's all kinds of junk in there. I'm gonna move all that stuff into here, organize it, and that way it can just sit here. And you know, so that'll be probably the next video that I'll have out will be <clears throat> showing how I'm doing this end wall. And uh, the end wall, like the wood I said, will probably come up, um, it'll come up well above this. This is about 36 inches, 33 inches. And it's probably gonna go up at least four foot, probably higher. And then at the top, of course, there'll be, there'll be the plastic that wraps around. But the reason why I do the end walls this time in wood is because I'm not putting a door in here. But I can, I can easily frame in windows. All I gotta do is take my sheet of plywood, lay it flat on some saw horses, cut the window out while it's laying there, and then just attach it with a hinge and then put it right up. So it's not like I'm having to, to cut and measure for a new window when I cut the hole. Just use the same hole. If you, if you, if you get what I mean. Once it's up, you'll get a better um, indication. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's update as of now. Down at this end here, um, as I said again, there will be roll-up curtains on this side as well as the, the south side. This side down here, I know you see my shadow here. It's getting late in the day. It's about 5 o'clock. Again, this one here will be likely made out of wood as well, the end wall. And again, I'll have big, bigger windows or bigger vents because I won't, I won't need the space. Like the beds here are going to go straight to the edge, and then wherever, uh, like the door, I'm still debating if I want to put the door smack dab in the middle, or put it to one side, and then have like the entranceway that way, so that way I can almost put the raised bed in the middle, almost all the way to the end. I'm undecided because I have this three foot here. I'll easily be able to make the door a six and a half foot door. I know you're not looking at anything up here, but I'll be easy to be able to put it at the end if uh, if I feel, feel that'll, that'll work. I don't have to draw it up a bit yet, but this will just be a simple end wall. Nothing fancy, just with some vents cut. So overall, this is what I've gotten done in two days. Um, I'm happy so far with the progress. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.